saltwaterfishing247.com. Brought to you by Laser Sharp by Eagle Claw. Sharper, stronger, longer. Yeah, we're fishing uh, on a sand shoal bottom here. It's real easy fishing. Oh, I think she's got one knocking on her door now. Uh, it's all sand bottom, so all we're doing is letting the weight drag right on the bottom. We don't have to worry about any hang-ups or nothing. It's just all beautiful sand. The fish, uh, they all gather here this time of year. The bait's coming out of the river. There's a lot of uh, uh, influence between the salt water mixing with the outgoing fresh water here. It creates a lot of disturbance in the water and uh, brings the bait fish and the bass in every year. And it's a great fishery. So you can grab it. There you go. <laughs> Like a little sideways. There you go, right like that. Oh, I got a fish on my line up here. You hear it? Yep. Okay. What do you What do you think? <laughs> oh yeah, somebody knocking at my door. Could be a bluefish. Not 100% sure. And leave it out there. Let them chew it up. Let the chunks sit to the bottom until they start to run with it. You never know what's at the bottom. Chewing it good. And then we set the hook. Oh yeah. Uh oh, it's running towards Emily. This could be a mess. Gonna come down. Alright. Whoa, look at this. Brushed it out back. Alright, oh, right. we're going over him. Doing Ooh, the dance. That's a good fish. As the bluefish were molesting it, it sinks to the bottom, and, and this bass here picked it up for sure. He ran right out with it. This could be a good sized fish. Uh, all the fish that I've gotten over 50 pounds in the, in the past. I have a lot of tendency to run straight out and to the surface, like this one here has. I don't think he's any 50 pounder by any stretch, but uh, one thing is showing me that there's a lot of fish down there in the competition, and they're getting away from uh, all the other fish, so they're hitting it and just going, getting out of town. He's got a pretty good sized tail on there, man. I don't know if you saw that. I will in a minute. Oh yeah, a little drag. Nothing there, Em? Nothing. We are heading right for our, one of our favorite spots here. I call it Tim's spot, because my friend Tim was here a few years ago, pulled a nice 52 pounder off here. So I got right up next to him, hit my GPS, and, he's, <laughs> and he yelled over, he says, you dog. <laughs> I said, well, I'll name it after you, as I steal your waypoint. Very hard fighting fish. This would be about a 30 pounder. Oh yeah. Big head on him, nice shoulders. Oh that's a good one. Beautiful fish. Yep. That'll go 40 inches. That's a perfect example of uh, leaving those chunks down in the water, not pulling them up right away. The bigger fish, lazy guys, sit down on the bottom there. Took this thing like no problem. There's plenty of them down there. We're gonna see if we can get a couple more in a boat. Let this guy go. saltwaterfishing247.com, helping you catch that fish of a lifetime.